What's up guys, it's Andrew Olsentowski. I'm giving you my early leans for UFC Fight Night Costa vs. Victoria. It takes place next Saturday, October 23rd, 2021. Early start time, 1 p.m. Eastern for the prelims. Also known as UFC Vegas 41, Apex, Nevada. So, yeah, I mean, I love the main event. Uh, pivotal fight in the middleweight division, but let's start with the prelim. First prelim of the night. Um, the Reno Starpo Starpoli against Jamie Pickett. Starpoli moved up the middleweight. Mm, hasn't looked good. Pickett hasn't looked good either. Pickett's getting a lot of disrespect in this fight. I'm gonna side with Pickett here, man. I think said no real confidence, but I think Pickett's the more natural middleweight here. So he's being disrespected. Two low level fighters. I'll take Pickett here by decision. Karma worthy against Jai Herbert. Uh, I think we're, Herbert's a little more talent worthy, uh, worthy showing that he can get flash knockouts and stuff like that, but he doesn't have a chin. And I think if you can really get to worthy early, you can really get him out of there. And I think Herbert's still more a technical boxer. Um, worry about his cardio a little bit. He's kind of chinning himself, but I'm going to go with Herbert here, my first round knockout. Tabitha Ricci against Maria Oliveira. And I saw with Ricci here. She had a tough debut against uh, tough debut against Fiorat of a weight class. Fighting at 115 here against Alavira. He's on a two-fight win streak, making a UFC debut. I'm gonna take Ricci here by decision. Next up, we have a men's middleweight fight. Um, Jung Young Park against Gregory Rodriguez. I think Rodriguez, man, he, he kind of looks like the real deal here, man. He uh, beat Todorovic in his last fight, looked great. Knocked out Josh Fremd and LFA to get that UFC spot. Guy's looking really good, man, and he's a great submission guy. And he's going against Park, who's a pretty good wrestler. He's coming off that win over, I want to say, yeah, to and to Chui. Phillips before that, but man, he's he's I mean, both guys are getting a step up, but I like Rodriguez here. I'm gonna take Rodriguez by first round knockout. Um, Jeff Molina against Daniel Lacerda, um, men's flyweight Molina coming off a nice hard fought win over Iori in his last fight, looked all right going up against Daniel Lacerda, mm, guy out of Brazil. And uh, I don't know. I'm going to go with Lacerda here. Um, I don't know if I really have a lot of... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I really see in Molina. I, I saw some things that I didn't really like, but he showed part and all that. But I'm going to go with Lacerda here. Lavina Suna against Random Marcos. I mean, Marcos has to be on a pretty big losing streak here. Four-fight losing streak. She takes all these fights against the surging prospects. I'm going to go with Susie here, man. Um... She lost to Amanda Lemos in her last fight. No shame in that, but I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with Susie here. Next up, Dwight Grant against Francisco Trinaldo. Dwight Grant's really just never really panned out. It I know in the UFC doesn't fight often enough. Doesn't have an exciting style. Yeah, he can get knockouts, but I think whoever loses this fight is gonna be leaving town. And I, I like the ageless Francisco Trinaldo up a weight class at Walter Waite. Guy's got heart, man. Even when you think he might have him out there or you think he's losing, this guy's going to storm back and he's going to make you fight. I like Francisco Trinaldo here, and I'm going to pick him by first-round knockout. Next up, Alex Caceres against Sing Wu Choi. I think so Choi continues to rise in the men's featherweight division. I'm predicting him to get another first-round knockout over... Caceres, who's a tough guy to finish. He's been on a nice winning streak himself, underrated. I'm going to go with Choi here, man. I think the winning streak stops for Caceres. Nick Nermaraganu Ner against Ike Villa in the wave up. I like Nermaraganu here, man. He's shown that he is a talent. He can, uh, he can fight, and uh, he's got a lot of heart, man. And I think Villa in the wave doesn't have a chin, and I think Villa in the wave is going to sleep here. Next up, Jessica Rose Clark against... Jocelyn Edwards. I don't know why this fight's on the main card. They have Bantamweight. I'm not high on any of these fighters, man. Uh, I'm going to go with Edwards here. 
Another baffling thing, Grant Dawson against Ricky Glenn, co-main event. I'm going to go with Dawson here by decision, man, but it's not going to surprise me if, fucking, if Ricky Glenn puts his lights out, man. Paula Costa against Marvin Vittori in the main event. I'm going to go with Costa here, man, by first-round knockout. I think Costa's being severely disrespected, uh, especially presently at the betting line. I think more money's going to just keep coming in on Vittori. You could possibly see me possibly betting Costa. The line gets high enough, and if I feel there's enough value, um, currently minus 145 on Vittori, plus 125 on Costa as the, on the return. Um, I think both these guys are coming off title fight losses to Adesanya. Costa hasn't fought in over a year. Vittori hasn't fought since June when he lost to Adesanya. Um, and then Costa was talking a couple months ago. He pulled out of a fight. He's talking about, you know, getting paid more and all that stuff. Um, but it doesn't matter, man. I mean, Costa is still a fucking tough fight for anybody at middle, men's middleweight. Especially a guy that's got a similar reach to him, similar size. And, uh, I mean, Vittori's going to have to weather the storm, man. And Costa showing you you can go three hard rounds. Don't know what you're going to get out of either fighter, both for coming off a title fight letdown. Um, so, I'm going to go with Costa here, man. I mean doesn't matter i mean it's just really styles make fights and uh he's being disrespected here man yeah marvin's a great fighter a great ground game but i mean costa is no slouch he's got a well-rounded game and uh i'm gonna go with costa here man but you don't really know what you're getting in either guy here but you don't know what you're getting in either guy gotta side with the dog here i like costa and uh i think he's just being disrespected and overlooked here to be honest so i'm gonna sell apollo costa here by first round knockout these are my leans, guys. I'll give you my official predictions probably next Saturday. Thank you. Bye.